and see on the bells. Welcome to my channel, Learning Builds Life. Today, we are going to talk about algebra linear equation. Let's take a look at today's sum. The perimeter of a rectangle is 80 meters. If the breadth is increased by 2 meters and the length is decreased by 2 meters, the area of the rectangle increases by 36 meters squared. Find the length and breadth of the rectangle. Let's do this sum. Consider the length as L. Length equal to L. And consider breadth as B. Breadth equal to B. As per the formula of calculating the perimeter of a rectangle, it is 2 into length plus breadth, and here L plus B. L plus B equal to 80. Therefore, L plus B is equal to 80 by 2, that is 40. Now we can't use, we only have to calculate the length and breadth. So let's take L. Then expressing B in terms of L, we can write B equal to 40 minus L. Now this is clear about what we should do about B and L. Now we don't have to think about B. Let's take a look at the sum now. This is original length and breadth. Original length is L, and the original breadth is 40 minus L. Now, moving on to the imaginary situation. If the breadth is increased by 2 meters, here the breadth is 40, by 40 minus L. B equal to 40 minus L. Now, it's increased by 2 meters in the imaginary situation. It means 40 minus L plus 2. It means 42 minus L on calculating. The breadth is increased by 2 meters and the length is decreased by 2 meters. That means here, original length was L. That means L minus 2 is the imaginary length. The area of the rectangle increases by 36 meters, but before we move on to that part, we may take a look at the board. Moving on to the rest of our sum, let's move on to forming our equation. Over here, it's mentioned original length and original breadth, and we have the imaginary length and breadth. Let's make an equation now. It's given that the rectangle area increases by 36 meters squared in the imaginary situation. That means what we have to do, the area in the imaginary situation is equal to the original area plus 36. Now let's make the equation imaginary. L minus 2, the whole into 42 minus L the whole, equal to L into, which this is imaginary, L into 40 minus L the whole, which this is the original area, plus 36 meters squared as per the question. Now let's solve this equation and get our length and breadth. Or, we need to distribute the multiplication and open up all the brackets, let's do it. 42L minus L squared minus 84 plus 2L equal to, over here also just open up the bracket and distribute the multiplication and we get 40L minus L squared plus 36. Now over here the L squared term has the similar sign, we can just cancel it out really easily. Or, now bring up the like terms together, adding them up, we get 44L over here minus 84 equal to 40L plus 36. Doing a transposition we get or 44L minus 40L equal to 36 plus 84. 
or this gives us 4L equal to n bit of metal if we get one ton. Or L equal to 120 by 4 by doing a transposition again equal to 30. Now let's get the questions answered. Find the length and breadth of the rectangle. Here they are asking for the original length and breadth. Let's calculate that with the relations we have. Original length is L, what we got just now. Therefore, the original length is 30 meters and the original breadth original breadth is 40 minus 30 because we have 40 minus L as our original breadth relation. Then 40 minus 30 gives us 10 meters for only 80. 10 meters is the original breadth. And this is our final answer. Now you may take a look at the board. Hope you enjoyed this episode and please like, share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.